On today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can use steel wool, some Crest toothpaste to bring this beautiful Kirby Diamond Edition vacuum cleaner back to its factory shine. Are you kidding me? We're going to freaking take it apart. But first, let's see if she'll fire up. Did my toothpaste really go in the trash? Oh man, that was funny. <clears throat> so we have a excellent length cord here. Size does matter. I'm gonna plug this beauty in. How do you? How do you fire these things up? That thing's got a foot pedal. Uh huh. He told me it worked. Sure, it works. Wait, maybe. Wait, I'm an idiot. Ah! Whoa. Perfect. Okay, um, let's put this guy. Let's put this patient on our table. So we have a table now, folks. So I don't know if there's some purists out there who think this is like a collection item or something. I don't know. It's just a... It's just the thing with with a motor. Thing with a motor, so the motor has to come out. Uh, how does it come out? Oh man, I didn't know they had those screws back then. This is like, see how those star thingies Okay, I'm gonna have to go get a star thingy. Kirby model G7D, United States, Cleveland, Ohio. Household use only. All right, guys, as always, for this job, we're gonna need some yellow tools. So I got this thing because it's. Um, has a bunch of bits, but it has like the, I don't know, like theft bits or something where they have the hole in the middle. We don't need those kind for this, but I just got them. Ah, this might be a TS-20. Super. junk drawer is quickly filling up with junkiness what the heck I'm pretty sure we don't have to take off the rear suspension but it's fun to undo these screws, bolts, whatever. There's like foot pedals and such. Okay, one more in here. That should be the head gasket. What am I missing? Sweet, mm-hmm. Put 
for a freaking good ratio of cobwebs there. It's kind of nice. They're all the same screw. Oh, that's a nice cover. Don't tell me that's a plug. Oh, wow. I'm so impressed. That is cool. Actually plugs in in a civilized manner. Okay, now what? I undid some screws. What kind of plastic is that? Is that metal plastic? Why aren't you coming out? What's going on here? Wait, it's coming out. Something's happening. I don't have my Haynes or Chilton manual for this. What is holding is there? Is it a drive shaft? How does that piece come apart? Maybe we need to... You gotta get some victory here. There's a seat belt release here. How the hell? Cool. Excellent. There's like a tube within a bag. Does this come off? How does this come off? Making me look. Bad. Whoa, there's. Whoa, what the heck is this? So there's. Okay, I lift the lid. I flip the switch. What is, what is happening here? This is seriously a nice, nice thing I'm taking apart. I will probably learn later that this is worth some money. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. What is that? That's a littler guy. These these are some things here. So much fun when you don't care what's north or south on these. Come on, you. There's a big old thingy there. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Fell in the hole. This thing... It just ate my bit. Seriously. Oh, it ate my bit. Sweet. So, differential looks like a 411 gears, so definitely not highway gears. Um, something's got to give on this guy. Advertisement. What? I'm supposed to push this? Don't make me take out the big hammer. Because I will. Is this stuff here? Hmm. Man, I can't believe it ate that bit. That's crazy talk. Let me 
We're going to call this guy Christine. Is this perfect? Uh huh. Oh, there's some here. Totally missed these dudes. It's like these guys were holding the rear swing arm. Oh, come on, what now? Seriously? Oh, don't tell me it's... It's not this guy? Oh, there's a light bulb. Sweet. Come in. I know this plastic, brutal plastic is not gonna snap, right? Come on. It's a little light bulby bulb. And why isn't this coming up? What is holding this guy? This plug, I don't understand. Oh, it's probably slides in. <laughs> probably helps if I had some WD. This is a nice switch. Hopefully, I don't kill it. Oh, perfect. Enough room, and then. Is this German? They give you enough room, then take away half an inch? Which part of Germany is Ohio? Come on. Okay, got the bonnet off. Now we're seeing some stuffness here. Where's that? No, oh, that's the bit it ate. Perfect. So this is a little guy. I'm positive my high allergy to dust won't flare up from this project at all. What else is holding you? don't understand. This thing freaking had a headlight. I think I really need to get rid of this dust bag. It's just ridiculous. How the hell do you do it? Ah! I don't know. Oh, don't make me use a hammer. Still don't know what that is. Okay, so that let go of something. Something, something. Huh? This looks just mechanical with a snippy snip. That do. So let's 
What's the best way to get this guy out? Huh. I doubt this is gonna fit through there. Am I gonna have to unpin it? Or go the other way? I already got this off of one side, jeez. That was just caked on there. That's the nose of it. There's. Oh man, don't tell me I need to take this off. What the hell did it try to suck? Jeez. I think I need to take this off to get to these screws. And there's some down there. those came out okay this one looked like it was grounded there's nothing under there what's holding you now I don't think this, there's no way that that's going to come out. Yeah, are there screws underneath there? Yeah, I think there's screws underneath this guy. That is so rusted. Hate to break it, but I think I'm going to have to. And of course, I want this to break and it's not going to budge. Wow. What is this made out of? Jeez, this is not breaking. I've never seen plastic like this, ever. That is crazy. Wow. That is crazy. You know what? Finally. I'm gonna clean this up a bit can't work in these conditions. Yeah, I cannot believe that I cannot break this. That's ridiculous. You knew it was only a matter of time. Yeah, so we had to get to those screws right there which are super rusty, can't even tell what they are.
I literally can't tell if these are Phillips or what they are. Oh, super. I guess I don't have to worry about it. Where is this one from? So this is on the bottom. guess it won't fit through here so I got some sort of a thingy thingy what is this should have paid attention tunnel um, thinking we need to secure it and see if we can do something with it see if we can spin it it's the carnage and then that's the beauty right here What is this? This looks like this is actually what power. That looks like maybe it will go like that. Not too proud of this job. That, that can come out and I don't know what this is I think this was a ground well nothing to it but to do it God, this is a long cord Okay, so I got my surge protector. Right there. So I don't know what this does. Great. Man, really should oh wait. Nope. What's the deal, yo? How are you? I can't tell what's on, what's off. And I don't know what the switches are. Hmm. We got power. Power's in there. What the hell is this? Maybe that's something. What the hell? Well, that's pretty embarrassing. What else are we supposed to do with this thing? I'm pretty sure that Honestly, no idea how this went.
Oh well. Where's our voltmeter? <laughs> Must have upset this thing somehow. Okay, that should hold it, I think. Okay. So, let's put this on some volts, and let's try. Understand the switch. the other button what the hell was there some sort of a safety gizmo This had to work, this guy. How the heck was it like this? Am I holding this upside down? Okay. The only thing not connected is sort of the groundish thing. Okay, I totally don't understand how I could have broken the switch by taking this out, but I think this whole thing here is some crazy sophisticated switch deal how the hell oh great brittle plastic yeah brittle Brittle freaking plastic. How is it sitting on there? Okay. So this is some sort of a switch right here.
so. Jeez, this is crazy. It's just snapping off. That's okay, maybe I don't need this stupid switch. There's one more. Yeah, perfect. Oh, really, another one? Super. There, well, there we have it. Not, not my proudest moment. I will never put the switch back together. Holy shit. What in the world was that? Looks important. That's not good. Let's do something super dangerous. Definitely don't try this at home. <sighs> Great. I don't care if it jumps. Oh, there we have it. Stupid switch. I can't believe that that was a switch problem. But it was. And, um,. I don't understand what it was doing. Like, honestly, don't understand. Still don't know if, what this switch does. Let's try it with that one. So, one of these is marked hot. This is just freaking temporary. So I don't know what this does. Is this for just the light? Seems like no matter what I do to it, it just still runs. So. Got this one running without it, but it ran before. If you guys could tell me what the hell those things are. Yeah, I don't understand what these things are. 
simple with that. I mean, this is like the world's simplest circuit board, and I still don't understand it. You know? No? because it does nothing with it. So what kind of motor is this? <laughs> 